You sound fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> you sound, your music to my ears. Yep. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the Digital Entrepreneur Show. This is the show where we talk about everything digital and we teach you how uh, to become a digital entrepreneur just like us. And on the show, we're going to cover everything from YouTube to blogging to websites to podcasting. And more than anything, we're going to talk about how you can become a digital entrepreneur just like us. My name is Tim Knox, my co-host, the lovely Steve Gamlin and my buddy, Professor Nez. Guys, how are you? Fantastic. Doing good. How are you doing, Tim? I'm doing just peachy keen. You guys have both had a big week. I know Steve, actually, Nez, can you believe people paid Steve to speak? I'm week? still like skeptical. I just, I don't, I can't quite believe it exactly. I have and he got his own parking spot. Up. He got his own parking spot too. I can't believe it. Who do you I think did. you are? Yeah, <laughs> I he did. Parks, he parks between those blue lines really, <laughs> really well. And uh, Nez, you had a big week on your show. You had a couple of good interviews this week. You know, it's been just awesome. Uh, uh, you know, you mentioned earlier in the intro, and yes, we, we're talking a lot about YouTube and websites and podcasts. And I definitely think live video and live streaming is something that is super, super leverageable right now in 2017 and beyond. In my show, Nez Nation Live, we had the great Alex Khan. I'm sure a lot of you, the listeners know who Alex Khan is. He's huge in the Twitter live space. I had a great PhD, Dr. Erica Bowling, on last night. We did a doubleheader. We're doing another doubleheader tomorrow with Tim Knox. If you don't know who Tim Knox is, Tim Knox. That's Knox's? me. That's me. <laughs> wow. We're doing another double. Steve's been on the show before. Steve's show was awesome. We had over a thousand views with Steve's show. And, uh, I, you know, so it's just been awesome. The Facebook Live show, that's up my business page, Professor Nez. It's just been great. Lucky, Nez, very is blessed. A, Nez is a fount of creativity and content. <laughs> Seriously, and I mean that. I thought it was a pond. I thought it was a pond, a small like, puddle. It's like a bubbling sewer pipe. No, I'm kidding you. Uh, hey, uh, seriously, just, just a reminder, uh, you're going to be able to see this show uh, on YouTube. You're going to be able to see it on Facebook, and we're also going to have a podcast and a blog, uh, and we're going to do some really cool things here, guys. We are not only going to do a show every week, uh, we're also going to do a before show and an after show, and a lot of that is going to be live. So yeah. the audience will have yeah. the opportunity to interact with us. And it's one thing I know, De uh, Nez, you do on your show really well is, is interacting with the audience. So I want to invite everyone to, to get digital entrepreneur going through their brain and start yep. picking up questions uh, because, you know, we can answer every question. And if we can't, we'll, we'll make it up. <laughs> Perfect. Wait, and, we will. and we'll look so convincing in the process that you'll yeah. actually believe it and go out and try it. Well, see, that's the thing. Nez being a professor. We need a disclaimer. He, Nez being a professor, he can look at you and, and you believe what he's saying. <laughs> you and me gambling, not so much. But uh, I think I doth profess too much. Yes. Well, let's, yeah. uh, let's go ahead and get to the, let's get to the point. Let's yes. talk about on, on this hour, our flagship first show. Let's talk about uh, really the reason we're here, and that is digital, digital entrepreneurship and why uh, we three digital entrepreneurs uh, are really qualified to talk about this because all three of us have taken our business in that direction. Uh, just go around here, guys. Why do you think it is so important for entrepreneurs to become digital entrepreneurs if they're going to survive uh, in business today? Nez? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're living in an era right now where literally everything, everywhere you go, every, every place that you visit, you see people looking at a screen pretty much. Mm -hmm. Screens have dominated our lives and that's all from the digital universe, from the digital space. Online education, I'm in the education space. Everything's going online. Grading, uh, uh, administrative, bureaucratic, all the, all the sort of curriculum, design, education, banking, consumer, I mean, purchasing, all these brick and mortar businesses are going out of business because of Amazon. If you're not in the digital space, you're missing out on what's mm -hmm. happening in the 2017 and beyond 21st century context, in my humble opinion. And the barrier to entry is very, very little. Now, mm -hmm. You know, the three of us really specialize in kind of social media as well as, you know, authorship and, and leveraging, you know, what we do as far as our design and as far as our creativity, YouTube. I mean, there's, there's, YouTube's the second largest search engine in the world. Google's the number one search engine in the world. Instagram, over 200 million users. Snapchat, over 150 million users. Facebook, 2 billion users. Everything is going in this 
direction. Live video is something that I'm going all in on. This is a great way to humanize your brand. This is a great way. And again, the overhead cost is next to nothing. Right. You would be completely missing the boat if you didn't understand the importance, the vehemence of why going digital in the 21st century is the number one thing you need to do. Where we are right now, Steve, is kind of where business was a decade ago when the internet really started ramping up. I can remember uh, doing speaking engagements and teaching classes and entrepreneurs coming up to me and saying, well, do I really need a website? Right. My oh, answer yeah. was always yes. So, Steve, what are your thoughts on, on becoming a digital entrepreneur? I think going back even a decade prior to that, throughout the 90s and early 2000s, I was in the radio industry. And mm -hmm. at the time, you know, live streaming and all of these satellite things were not yet available. So you were limited to live and local. You were limited to whatever area that your antenna would reach as far as being able to reach people. And you had your little cluster here and then somebody else who had their little signal. It, once you put it up against the, theirs, yours was done. And what technology has allowed us to do now is to broadcast all around the world. We even see radio stations doing that. Terrestrial radio is now available through technology. Now, we can do it, uh, as you've both said, for little or no investment. The vehicles are there. If you're not putting your message out there through social media, through YouTube, through Twitter, through LinkedIn, through live video, anything, you're really missing out on some opportunities. Uh, greatest example for me, uh, the first copy of my third book and also my vision board training program were purchased by the same person in Australia who reads my social media posts religiously every single day. And we saw that little post that took me 10 seconds to type out. It reached him in half a second, halfway around the world, and he is now a client. Isn't that awesome. something? You can do business awesome. with people in Australia. Where, where are you, Steve? I'm in New Hampshire, USA. All right. I'm in Alabama. Nez, you're in California? Southern California, baby. Look at you. What's the temperature there today? Is it nice? <laughs> it's beautiful. It's, a, it's pretty much 72 de degrees, 365, 24-7. You I mean, know what? I insane. live in uh, But North guess what? L the property taxes, the property <laughs> taxes reflect that. <laughs> Is there, well, see, I live in North Alabama, and in the summertime, it's, it's like 105. Satan comes here and goes, gosh, this is hot. <laughs> uh, but anyway, back, back to the, the point. I really like what yeah. you guys are saying, Nez, especially when you were talking about how, how things have evolved and changed in, in academia. How, and my, my daughter is a senior in college, and she does everything online. I, don't, mm -hmm. I think her professor drops by every now and then to say hi. But yeah. it's really like that with, with business as well. It's so easy to do. I'm, I'm working with a, a dentist right now who just sold his practice and he wants to start a mastermind group uh, going online. And he, he thought it was going to be a real big deal. Literally, we had him online uh, within three or four hours with a podcast. We were setting him wow. up for YouTube. So let's talk a little bit about how your businesses has, have evolved because I, I have been making my living online for, for 20 something years and I kind of mm -hmm. rode the wave of tech. But Nez, you've, you've been in academia. Steve, you've been in, in media and speaking. Um, how have you changed uh, your business or how has uh, digital made you evolve? Ned, you want to go first? Yeah. So being in education, being an author, being a speaker myself, I had to go to all these places. Mm -hmm. I had to rent spaces out to have workshops. I had to actually, you know, s drive miles and miles and miles to go to these different events and go to these different workshops and collaborative student centered, you know, resources. Now I can do all of that. All, literally all of that. I, I have a couple of online courses that I've created based on my expertise. I'm getting passive income from by leveraging it, keyword targeting, SEO, title, you know, design, lecture, you know, structure, everything. It's all done in the digital space. Passive income that I've been leveraging for the past two, three years. All my books I no longer need to depend on. <clears throat> I'm sure Steve can attest to this as well as uh, uh, Tim, you know, being huge in the editing writing space that, you know, I, I, I no longer have to worry about some intern reading through a slush pile <laughs> over at, you know, Penguin Putnam wondering if this guy thinks he's Hemingway or this guy thinks he's a good writer or how can we distribute this? How can we market this? I can own my own work now. I can own my own right. That's another passive income stream. My, my, I have seven books on Kindle. A lot of them deal with mindsets. A lot of them, they're creative stories, creative narratives told through the guise and the context of mindset, 
writing, communications, digital storytelling. You can create your own blog now where before you had to do all these websites and all these, you still have to, don't get me wrong, but mm -hmm. using these beautiful platforms like LinkedIn, I've published about 10 articles on LinkedIn. Medium is a beautiful social network for bloggers. My entire thesis and business has completely 180 and I love it. And it's capital C convenience. You know, you the, need the one, to jump on this. The one thing that, that, that I think you're hitting on there, and Steve, jump in on this, is mm -hmm. how easy it is now to create content, but also to get it out to the get masses. It. Because That's cool. when I did uh, my, my first book I wrote in, in 2005, it was published by John Wiley. And, you know, it took almost a year for the book to be published. It took right. months for them to get it distributed out. Uh, now, if I want to publish a book, I, I spend an hour on CreateSpace and, and there I am. So, and the same way with these videos, getting the content out Yes. I think is one of the, the biggest things. Uh, but also, if you are an entrepreneur who, who does not deal with content, uh, technology has made it easier for customers to reach you. And, and also, I feel, and, and I can't wait for Steve to talk about this too, I feel that it's really all about ownership. You own mm -hmm. everything. You yeah. own the rights. Really, what digital entrepreneurship is to me, the purest definition is freedom, guys. It's freedom. Yeah. You get to choose your own hours. You get to put in as much. You want to be successful? Depends on you. You want to be unsuccessful? Depends on you. You want to distribute? You want to market? You want to leverage? Depends on you. You want to make sales conversions? It's all on you. That's what I love about it. Yeah. You don't have to answer to anybody but yourself. Steve, Steve, how has becoming a digital entrepreneur changed how you do things in your business? Back in the old days, my first book was published in 2004, self-published. And I've, I've published... Uh, three other books since then. I'm working on my next one. I used to have cases and cases and cases of books with me stacked up here in the shelves at all times. And you had to go out and spend a whole bunch of money and hope they sold. And as you were talking about, Tim, now with CreateSpace and other publishing platforms, uh, tagging on what Professor Nez says, you own it first off 100% mm -hmm. when, you, when you create it. And then going through these platforms, maybe you, you just give up a little percentage but you can get it out there at the push of a button. Somebody can push it and you're not the one who has to stuff an envelope or put it in a box. Go to the post office like I used to do. I used to depend on hopefully one sale at a time to, to generate this stuff. When the vision board program came out about a year and a half ago, it was a physical product only. I didn't know how at the time to make it a digital product. So I was mm -hmm. literally going to Staples, mm -hmm. getting these things printed up, putting them all in binders, burning CDs. <laughs> yeah. and and, uh, seriously, yeah. I was doing wow. that mm -hmm. one sale at yes. a time. It cost mm -hmm. me over $30 just for the materials and, and, and then another 10 for shipping for so each true. one. And here's what I learned from our friend Tim Knox, how to build a WordPress <laughs> website, <that? laughs> how to build a WordPress website and how to make my entire program available online. And it's just getting ready to launch now at the push of a button. Awesome. My program is going to be available halfway around the world. And again, it, it allows me to have freedom. And I hope people aren't scared thinking there's a, a huge learning curve for all of this because here's the thing what you need to do if you're overwhelmed by it all mm. find somebody who is as passionate about doing that stuff as you are about creating stuff yeah that's it's because a really they're good, out there yeah it's a good point there because a lot of times entrepreneurs get caught up in in trading hours for dollars yeah. mm. you know that's one of the what my my main thing that i do now is i'm, I'm a book editor and a ghost writer which is very much hours for dollars i get paid mm -hmm. for every hour i work but then i have other things that i do set up as passive income which i think is really the goal of of most entrepreneurs is to get that business going where you can step away and not have to worry yeah. about it so guys let's talk really quickly in the time we have left about passive income and which i think is a big part of being a digital entrepreneur because a lot of times entrepreneurs do the old trading hours for dollars thing so uh really quickly nez in the time we've got left i want both of you to input here uh talk a little bit about uh passive income as it pertains to being a digital entrepreneur Okay, well, first off, passive income doesn't mean that you just sit back, relax, and everything's straight. You got to put in the work. Mm -hmm. But the key is, is that you work hard now so that you can just reap the benefits later. Meaning, 
this is just unbelievable. I mean, to me, what this is, this show really is hopefully about is about producing results. We're here to help you guys flourish with your digital businesses and leverage all these things in practical ways. So you have to create passive income is this beautiful thing really in the digital space where you can create, whether it's books, whether it's courses, it's a podcast, whether it's a live video workshop, whether it's group coaching you're doing in private Facebook groups, which I'm doing too now. These are all just streams that you would set up diligently based on your expertise, based on what you bring to the table, where actually when you, this is the difference, this is the key. You go to sleep and you're making money. That's huge. These are continuous revenue streams that are working. They basically, you put all the work in, you put all the time and they go to work for you. And there's no other medium besides the digital ecosystem where this is so, as, as Steve said so eloquently, it's, it's, it, the barrier to entry is like this. The barrier to entry is, is nothing. If you put in the work, you will reap the benefits later. That's the key to passive income. Yeah. R- really quickly, Steve, what, what are your yep. thoughts as far as what, what do you hope that our audience gets out of this show because we very much want to create content on this show that mm-hmm. that helps our audience we want to have a good time but we want to create that content um steve what are your thoughts on on what we want to do i think people first need to decide where they want to be and how they want to get there maybe they want to write and get their message out there i think everybody has a message to share with the world and of course the number one thing is find a pain in the world and solve it now when you figure out what you're going to do figure out the easiest and best ways to get your message out there whether it is writing a blog recording a podcast doing live video doing youtube videos whatever it might be get out there and go on youtube google whatever how do i and then figure it out. That's how I learn everything these days. What I can do now versus five years ago has already had a great impact on my business. So figure out your vehicles to get your message out there because that's the only way the world's going to hear about you. The internet is massive. And as Professor Nez said, it's not just, you know, doing nothing and having money just fall on you. You're not running to the mailbox in your bathrobe every day for checks. Uh, And Tim, you're in Alabama. Professor Nez, you're in California. I'm in New Hampshire, so I can relate to this this metaphor. It's like rolling a snowball. You roll it till it's real, real big and you got to push, 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 push. And then you find a place where you can let it roll and it gathers steam by itself and gets bigger. But you've got to push it so far until it can gather its own steam. And you got to put a lot of effort, a lot of heart, a lot of blood, sweat and tears. And I don't just mean the band. Nez (laughs) Nez is like, what's a snowball? (laughs) You know, I watch, I do have Netflix, guys. <laughs> do they show add, Frosty the just, Snowman yes. in California? Yeah, yeah. Can I just add something yeah. really quickly, too? Mm-hmm. Is I, I listen to a lot of podcasts. I, I you know, uh, being in the digital space, obviously, I think all three of us probably, we're very much aware of the experts or the so-called experts or what have you. And I can tell you from firsthand experience, when I was guided, when I was getting help from people who've been there before, oh my God, the mistakes the errors that I not only committed but avoided making, just little unnecessary ones because let's be honest, there's some mistakes you have to make. They're actually good for you. I've but, got a I mean, big list. Yeah, I, I, exactly. It's too big. Hello. Yep. Yeah, uh, it's like six <laughs> volumes. Anyway, yep. but, 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 but the, I think to, to answer Tim's question, and Steve did such a great job of answering it, but to even piggyback on that to what Tim was saying, what's the purpose of this show? Here's a chance to get from three creators who are not just you know 12 and 18, people who've been in the business as long as some of my students who are 20, 22, 18, mm-hmm. and we can share what we've gone through, share what we've, you know, what we've experienced. What are some of the mistakes, technical stuff, non-technical stuff, you know, storytelling, branding. I, I mean, I think the vital nature, the, the real kind of lifeblood of this show is to help you guys out there. Mm-hmm. So you, if you're thinking about doing anything in the digital world, here are three guys who you've got to listen to who can help you get there. Three guys talking. Three guys, Three guys talking. Is talking. that what we're doing? Which Are we is, actually was, talking? We, we have to tell the audience. We, we were brainstorming ideas for names for the show. And I'm like, yeah, tell hey, them. three guys talking. And, and, and Gamlin's like, you know? And of yeah. course, Nez is like, that's the dumbest thing I've ever <laughs> I wanted to call it three schmucks in a box. but they Yeah, we're, like we're also going to have a, a blooper show, but we're going to charge for that because it's going to be 
So good. We know my, my thing with this show, and, and I think the three of us, uh, we've all written books. We've all published either traditionally self-published online and off. Uh, we all have YouTube channels. We've done podcasting. Um, you know, uh, we, we've all talked. We've all done entrepreneurial things. Live so, shows. Yeah. Live, live show. I mean, between us, I mean, I'm 57, and I Gamlin's 19, and Nez is, what, 23 <laughs> now. I'm 76. Uh, I had a great plastic surgeon. Yeah, so if you do the math, we have a whole lot of experience. <laughs> Uh, I had share. a horrible one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you look like crap for 19. <laughs> that family. So, hey, I want to remind everybody uh, you know, what we're hard work, do. Boy, it'll get you every time. It will. You know, we're, we're going to have this show on a weekly basis. It's going to come out at the same time every week to be determined. Uh, we, Since we have uh, Professor Nez here, the king of live, we're going to do live <laughs> pre-shows. We're going to do live after chats. Uh, and we're also going to have a blog. And really just... Man, we're we're going to and a Facebook page and a Facebook page. We're creating that too. And we're creating Pinterest and a Pinterest. And we may have a webcam. And merch. We may have some merch. Yes, yeah. my, buy my T-shirt, please. So, all right, guys. We have uh, we have two minutes left. Uh, in about thirty yes. seconds apiece. Give us give us the reason why you think people need to watch this show. Nez. Okay, so I think the reason you need to watch this show is to learn from people who've been there before. I mean, from uh, what the apprentice teacher model has gone back since before, you know, the dawn of time. I mean, we in order for us to succeed, we need to watch the people, learn from the people who've been there before and then reverse engineer that. And this show is really about reverse engineering how we've gotten to where we are. And by the way, it's not that we're like done we haven't plateaued we're not retiring and hey let's just share our wisdom <laughs> like we're still on the journey too so you're going to be getting state of the art cutting edge things that we're, we've gone through in the past and things that we're implementing right now today in 2017 2018 through 2055 hopefully if i'm still around by then so um, <laughs> that's that's okay. to me I, I can't think of anything more valuable if you're interested in anything dealing with digital entrepreneurship anything dealing with marketing branding writing leveraging passive income in the digital space on youtube instagram snapchat facebook live twitter live uh, you know, Kindle, if you're interested in any of that, I can't think of a better show and you're getting, you're getting three times the bang for your buck. I think that's not just one person, two people, you're getting three. All right, Gamlin. Now you've got 12 seconds to <laughs> sum up. <laughs> what, what, Sorry. Uh, this, Sorry, Steve. <laughs> that's all right. This is exactly, uh, it, it's one of the lessons I share when I speak live. When you're, when you're climbing a mountain, when you're trying to achieve, you're always reaching up for a mentor or somebody to help you up. Well, I think all three of us real, recognize that we have the obligation to turn around and see who's coming up behind us to help guide them through the pitfalls oh, of wherever they're trying to go. So that's my entire reason for being a part of this. Excellent. Not only because I love and respect you guys and all that you've accomplished, but to turn around that we want to reach back with zero strings to just help other people. All right, guys, this is the Digital Entrepreneur Show. It is going to be a weekly show with all kinds of bells and whistles. Hey, everybody, do this, guys. This is for the blooper reel. I've got some really... <laughs> See, we, oh, I we got a can, my neck. We can that a sign that I'm old? <laughs> on this show. Hey, find us on YouTube. Find us on Facebook, Twitter. Find us everywhere. Look behind you. There we are. Tim, Nez, and Steve saying goodbye. We'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. See you.